I, I didn't initially change my mind, but I agreed to go on the exploratory tour. I felt it didn't uh, do any harm to actually go and have a look and try and kind of have a look at the situation there myself and see if actually being there on the ground kind of uh, made, kind of energized me and made me feel like I, I wanted to make work there. And it, I was like thinking about kind of maybe reconnecting with my biological father who was or is Jewish. Uh, that was a kind of, uh, you know, a reason in a way to consider going. Uh, the fact that it was a group project made no difference to me and my work at all. Uh, towards the end of my time, Joseph Kotelka and Mark McCullough were there and I did meet with them both a couple of times. I didn't actually think about it in terms of a group project. Uh, my work um, is very unilateral. I'm very much a kind of uh, a loner work-wise. I'm not someone who is involved with groups. I don't belong to any kind of camera clubs like Magnum or anything like that. I'm just uh, a sole operator, you know? Um, and that's how I work. I decided to work in the settlements because I w I've always been interested in the notion of other, of otherness, and also the, play the place that people fit within the kind of socio-economic hierarchy of any society and that the settlers were both white European but were living in the West Bank amongst the, the Palestinians. They were outsiders to Israeli society as well as Palestinian society. And there's also with, within the notion of settlers that they do within themselves know that they are a kind of a group who are running against current thinking on a local level and a global level. Obviously they have a certain amount of support within certain uh, groups within Israel but but not everyone and I want and I've only ever seen them in a kind of in a kind of very documentary uh, way you know in a kind of sensationalistic photojournalist taking pictures of you know settlements being torn down or settlers fighting with Palestinians cutting down olive trees and I wanted to see if I could contextualize them in a different way within a kind of wider notion of humanity and of being within the actual place and the physical landscape of the West Bank. With the photographs of the families, I, I have a history of photographing families. It's certainly something that's really interested me throughout my time working as an artist. It's a kind of a theme throughout art history that uh, is a kind of bedrock of, of, of many different types of my work. So. And I always try and have a kind of humanistic approach to, to the family group. Uh, I always kind of try to find the good in people and I wanted to, to bring that, those notions to this work. I wanted the work to strip away the politics and just look at the families themselves and, and hope that by doing that, I would find a larger truth within the imagery. I'm drawn A to the landscape and B to the people by the beauty of both of them and the kind of fractionalized living, you know, if you are living somewhere where there is a kind of a continual threat, as it were, to your everyday life, then people live life to the full and there is a kind of a sense of community and I felt that there not just with the Jewish communities but also with the Palestinians and especially with the Bedouin because I mixed with all three groups of people while I was there. It is a beautiful place and it, it is <laughs> great being there. I, I, I feel a, a kind of, I feel really good when I'm there and uh, I, like, I do like being there. Um, I don't know if that would always be the case, but certainly, I, I, yeah, I kind of felt very at home there and unable to return. My, my editing process, I thought I was... When I came to edit the work, I made thousands of photographs and I made other work as well. 
beyond photographs, sculptures and paintings. When I came to edit the work, I took a year or so editing uh, slowly on the wall of my studio and I thought I had it nailed down and then I fell off my skateboard and broke my leg <laughs> and I had um, eight weeks lying there with my leg in the air and at that point I looked through everything again in a way that I hadn't done before because I had nothing else to do well I, I did but you know and I re-edited the work so at that kind of last moment that last two months before everything had to, I re-edited the work and I found different images and different pictures and it would have been a very different work, different work if I hadn't broken my leg. Not that I you know, advocate breaking your leg to edit, but it certainly enabled me to focus and create the, the sequence of pictures that are this book and I feel that um, for me it, it's an important piece of work because it, it is a moment and the time and it does encapsulate what I intended to do which was kind of be about the settlement and be settlements and be about the West Bank and be about the people but somehow uh, have that as a kind of a separate thing away from the conflict because I think that they have to be viewed and the landscapes as something about but different from the actual conflict itself these are about the land, these pictures are about the land and the people. Um, I hope uh, that in the future that, you know, this work will have some kind of lasting significance. It will do for me anyway. Mm -hmm.